met in South Africa, in Johannesburg, um, through playing in different formations and different people's projects. I was going over there a lot, um, seeing what the scene was getting inspired, uh, meeting individuals, hanging out, just enjoying you know, the scene that's in South Africa. And we decided to make uh, an album a year ago called Wisdom of Elders. And it started like that. In the burning, 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 in the burning of the Republic, 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 in the burning, 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 in the burning. We recorded the album in Johannesburg um, at Sumo Sound Friends Studio um, in Johannesburg. Um, and the process was, uh, I wouldn't particularly say organic, but it was sort of like a seamless connection between the two trajectories of music, particularly looking at how it still ties into the whole narrative of the connection between the two cities um, and the transatlantic sort of like knowledge production, particularly looking at the music. So it was at the studio and yeah, um, in Johannesburg. In the burning of the self-interested republic of the mind, we need new people. We need new people. We need new people. We need new hymns. We need new hymns. In the burning, in the burning, in the burning of so the republic me, of the mind and not the republic of the music is about individuals. Um, it's about what happens when individuals are allowed to have a good time together, to relax, to be able to yeah, relax so much in each other's presence that they're able to communally channel something, they're able to community, communally articulate something. Um, so when I kind of write the tunes, I'm thinking, you know, what can I write that makes Ntunzi sound really great? What line can I kind of write that makes me and Sia sound, sound amazing together. Because it's not an abstract thing. It's not like you write some music and some guys play. It's about, you know, they tell me what to compose as much as I give them stuff to compose by them being the musicians that they are. Yeah, there was a lot of input because uh, I don't think it would sound the way it does if we all didn't have our input into the music. So, yeah, yeah, we all had a good input into it. Yeah, definitely. Uh, I mean, I think that from the album to the gig, it's, it's a tremendous leap or step, yeah. It's something else. And every night is a different thing, yeah. According to the crowd and ourselves. <laughs> This show is going to be really, really exciting because uh, we have two surprise entries. It's like, uh, you know, the wrestling, the American wrestling, <laughs> when there's two surprise things that can happen <laughs> this season. <laughs> <laughs> A different experience altogether because with Sons of Kemet I tour that group um, throughout the year and we've got that relationship to the music where we gig it all the time and it goes through longer phases of slowly developing into you know whatever permutation it happens to be in it whenever you're watching it uh, whereas with the ancestors we'll do a period you know I'll go to South Africa or they'll come to Europe and we'll like, have that joy of playing together and then it'll stop and we go back to whatever projects you know we're doing in our respective countries and then we'll come back out. So it's like whenever we play, there is that joy of being able to, or being grateful for the chance to be able to play together because it's not to be taken as a given that we're even able to 
um, travel the world, you know, performing our music.